In this video tutorial, we will be discussing how to allow your consigners to use their in-store credit to purchase items. This has the benefit of encouraging your consigners to spend their money in your store easily and conveniently. To begin, let's look at an account that has a positive balance. Elvis, for example, has a balance of $650. Let's say that he decides to purchase some of the items from our store. First, click on Consigner Purchase, located in the center right of your screen, here. Now, select the consigner that is going to use the store credit and click OK. This screen is almost identical to a standard new invoice that you use for your other customers. The difference lies in that it is going to allow you to use a consigner's credit to purchase items. On the first line of the invoice, let's have Elvis purchase technical support from CCE. We now finish the invoice by entering in the total amount of credit that he's going to use and then click on OK to save the sale. Here it notifies us the amount entered for the credit purchase is larger than the consigner's purchase credit and that it will be saved as a negative credit to be fixed with the next settlement. Observe now that Elvis still has a balance of 650 as before, but now he has a negative credit amount of 1940. What this tells you is essentially that you owe him $650, but that he owes you $119.40. The easiest way to envision this is to think of this as a positive and negative side of a ledger. Elvis can now continue to use his store credit when he comes into your store, but at some point you will need to settle out his account and zero out the balance and the credit columns seen here. This is by far the most crucial step of a consigner purchase because it ensures that you are paid for all the transactions with their account. To begin, let's start a new settlement. Here it notifies us that the consigner's purchase credit is a negative amount and that we should pay it off by using the credit as a payment method in order to balance out the credit. At the top of the settlement screen, it lists all the items that he is owed for, and at the bottom it tells us how he is going to be paid for them. Observe in the center here. It lists the amount of credit he has used with us. To account for this, let's select a second form of payment. In this case, we want to pay off his credit account, so let's select Credit. In this box is where we'll type in the amount of purchase credit that he has used. And then hit enter. Notice what happened to the cash amount. It changed to reflect that he is getting paid now $530 in cash and he is getting also paid $119.40 in credit. This accounts for the total amount of $650 that he is owed. At this point, we can now either save the settlement or, in most cases, save and print the settlement. Now let's check his account again. Notice that he is now zeroed out. His balance is zero and his credit is zero. This concludes the video tutorial on how to properly conduct a consigner purchase and how to settle out that consigner's account.